What's going on guys, this is Greg with Tech360. Today I'm going to show you how to take music from your laptop and move it to your iPhone. Alright guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's get into it. So, this is for those who um, maybe don't want like their their laptops linked to their uh, to their phones where every time you plug it up everything downloads off the laptop onto the phone or vice versa uh, you want to be able to manually select which songs you want onto your phone now this is for like uh, like I said you know for pretty much any, any kind of music like if, where you got mixes or something you've made and obviously you're not going to find it on iTunes or anything like that and you just want stuff like that onto your phone this is going to be the easiest and quickest way uh, to do that so you obviously you're going to want to make sure you have the iphone cord as you see i've got some miles on mine probably like most of you guys too so i've got some tape on it uh you're also going to want the um the itunes app and then obviously your phone so let's go ahead and get this thing plugged up and get her going so let's plug that in get that going and then let's take the phone plug it right on up now it's going to light up and sometimes it'll also ask hey uh do you want uh, you know do you want to trust this this computer blah, blah blah if it does just say yes and just just you know let it go on through all right let it do its thing now once it gets to that point uh it's all loaded and everything now you want to go down and open up uh, itunes and All right, you got iTunes, and once you have it open, you're going to go here, and you want to make sure you see this little icon right up here, because that's going to let you know that your laptop is actually, in fact, connected to your phone. If you don't see that, it's not connected, and then what you're fixing to do is not going to work. Okay, so sometimes I like to go here to recently added, because it just makes it easier for me to see what I'm adding or whatever, um, but what you'll do is you're going to go to, um, you're going to go to File, then you're going to go to add file to library okay now this one i'm just going to go here okay now sometimes it will pop up here and recently added sometimes it don't now and that's fine if it don't you have to go over here to your songs that you've added to itunes on your laptop and you have to search that song so that one let's see, go all the way down since i know where it's at it's going to be right here now, once you locate your song, then you're going to take it, you're just going to just regular, just click on it, and you're going to take it and drag it right over here to where it says your phone, or you know whatever your name is in your phone, just take it and drop it in it. Release it and let go and drop it in. And as you saw at the top of the screen, it loaded into your phone, and now let's go, so it should be here, doo -doo -doo -doo, it's right there at the top, and just as you saw when... Uh, as we were putting it on there so and that's the quickest and easiest way to add music um, from your uh, laptop to your phone now like I said you can really do it with a lot of different things different file sharing apps and stuff that they have out there but this is just the quickest way and uh, now I don't recommend you know and I'm not saying go out and just pirate a bunch of music and load it on your phone no I wouldn't do that but like I said, like me personally, I make a lot of mixes and stuff at home, and I like them to be on my phone so I can jam them in the car and stuff like that. So that's mainly what I use it for. Um, and that's the quickest, easiest way, guys. If you have any questions, comments, comment below. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time.